Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Cartesian form. Same thing in the Cartesian form. So we have a plus lambda l is equal to r vector in the vector form. Let's try to do this in the Cartesian form. So to do this, what I can do is, I already know my r vector is a plus lambda l vector. Correct. Since my r vector is something which is unknown to me, right? So I'll say r is xi, yj, and xk. Why? Because r vector is something which is unknown to me, right? A vector is something which I know. So let's a be some point x1 i plus y1j plus x2 because this is something which I know. So if I have some a vector here and this point is x1, y1, z1, this is something I know, right? And I have some, this some line and this is my r vector and this is nothing but some point x, y, z in this line, some variable point. Right, and I have some line vector. Line vector I know already to be a i b j and c k because this line a i b j c k this is also I something I know, right? And x one y one z one I took because these x one y one z one also belongs to x y z. But I knew the value of this. Maybe this is five six seven or something. This value I know. So I made it x1, y1, z1. The normal convention we use. If you say x1, y1, x, z1, x2, y2, z2, that means you know the value of this. You know, say x, y, z, that is they are variable. They are variable. So I take any point x, y, z on this line. So equation says r is equal to a plus lambda l. Or I say r is nothing but x i plus y z plus z k is equal to a that is x1 y1 z1 x1 plus y1 plus z1 plus lambda into l l is a1 b1 c1 right a i plus b j plus plus c. Why I took this guy L as A, B, C because they are, it is independent of X, Y, Z, right? So I just took A, B, C because the value will be known anyway. So this, if you compare these two equations, I get X as X1 plus lambda A, X1 plus lambda A, Y as Y1 plus lambda B, y1 plus lambda b, b in small and z as z1 plus lambda c, z1 plus lambda c. This I got by comparing. Correct. So from this I can find lambda, lambda, lambda. So in this case my because lambda is common so I get lambda is x minus x1 by a is lambda. Here I get pi minus y1 by b is lambda and here I get z minus z1 by c as All are lambdas, so you equate both sides, what do you get? x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c and is equal to some value that is my equation of line in Cartesian form for three dimension. Correct? And this is not even required, so you want to put it. So this is my equation of line. Please note. So till now we have not learned this. We have not represented a three-dimensional line in uh, in, in Cartesian form and with this I have done this. So first we did was 
we found this equation of line in the vector form r is equal to e plus lambda l. Then I told r is any point in this line, so I made r as x, y, z. Since right a point was my some point a, please note that this a vector is not equal to this a. They are different. This is a vector, different a vector. Or if you are confused, let me put that this way. This is p vector. Let me put it make this p vector. So in this case, this will be p vector plus lambda l, and this guy will become p plus lambda l. And p is x y z. Yeah, this is correct now. This is no confusion. So r vector will be p vector plus uh, my lambda l vector. P is any point in this line, and l is the line which is line vector that is parallel to this line. So there is a difference between line vector and line equation, right? Hope you understand this. In this case, my r vector is something which is denoting line, and my line vector is this line. Why I'm saying r? Because if you take any r, this, this, or this, it satisfies this line equation. So r is movable. Actually, you take any point x, y, z here, r will satisfy, right? But when you say line vector, it is nothing but a vector that represents a line. So. That will not have any movable kind of funda that you know. You take any point in this and satisfy the equation. So here in this case, my r vector is the line equation, right? And by this, this uh, a, b, and c, this thing is just a line vector, correct? So r is equal to p vector plus lambda l. This is a equation of the line. I put r is equal to x, y, z because my r vector was just a, a, a variable thing, right? As just a point in the line. A was or this p was a constant thing, a point. So I made it p is x1, y1, z1. L was the line that is also constant given to me. So I made l as a1, uh, a i, b i, g c i, and then uh, I used the same equation. Compared, I found this uh, lambda to be x minus x1 by a, y minus y1 b, and z1 by z1 by c. And with this, I wrote this equation. So let's take some examples where we have a line that passes through a point in parallel to the vector. So we have to find the equation of the line which passes through point this and this parallel to this vector. So that means we are given a point. This guy is a point, 1, 2, 3. And let's suppose this guy is my origin. So this guy is my point. Right? Let's suppose this point is a vector. And this line is also parallel to this line vector that is 3i plus 2j plus sorry, minus 2j. Right? And this be l vector. So I have to create a line like this. This is my line, which is passing through this point A and which is parallel to this guy. So let's take some point R in this. So when this was L, this becomes lambda L. You don't need to remember the formula. If you understand the concept, you can very well derive the formula every time. So in this case, my again, R vector is A vector plus lambda L vector. What is A vector? I plus 2J plus 3K. I plus 2J plus 3K vector plus lambda into L is 3I plus 2J minus And this is nothing but i plus lambda 3, sorry, 1 plus lambda 3i plus 2 plus lambda 2 j plus 3 minus 2 lambda, 3 minus 2 lambda. And this is the equation of the line. Very simple. We have this point vector. We have this line vector, right? And we have this equation of line. Correct? Why? Because R is again a variable. If you see, this is a line vector, this is a point vector, and you can have any R, any R. It's a variable, right? So all these are R, or nah, all these are equation of the line. So this is the equation of line where R is A vector plus lambda L vector. If you see, this guy is also a vector, r vector, and this vector represents 
equation of line because this is a variable vector actually. You take any, you can move this. Correct? Let's take one more example. We have to find the equation of the line in the vector and Cartesian form, both form in this case. Earlier it was only vector form that passes through this position vector and it is in this direction. That means this guy is uh, this guy is 2i minus j plus 4k right so this guy is my position vector let's suppose this guy is a vector and this is parallel to i plus 2j minus k vector correct it is bl vector so to find equation of line that is passing through this and parallel to this so this be r vector and this becomes lambda into l vector so my r vector is nothing but a vector plus lambda l vector and this is nothing but a is 2i minus j plus 4k plus lambda all with caps actually lambda into l vector that is i cap 2j cap minus k cap i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap correct this is my equation of the line and that is nothing but 2 plus lambda i plus it will be 2 lambda minus 1 j cap plus 4 minus lambda k cap. This is my equation of line. Correct. So if you want to and this is nothing but r and r I can write as x i plus y j cap plus z k cap. So this is my equation of the line in vector form and find in uh, Cartesian form. So I just wrote R is equal to Xi plus Pi J plus Zk. Compare both these two. So I get X is equal to 2 plus lambda. I'm finding lambda in both all the cases. I just uh, compare it with lambda. Uh, and this is equal to Y is equal to 2 lambda minus 1 and Z equal to 4 minus lambda. So with this I get lambda is X minus 2. With this I get lambda is y plus 1 by 2. With this I get lambda is z minus, sorry, 4 minus 1. And all are equal to lambda, so I will equate this. So I get x minus 2 by 1 is equal to y plus 1 by 2 is equal to 4 minus z. I will write z minus 4 by minus 1. Correct? Right? So this is nothing but minus of z minus 4. This is my equation in Cartesian. Very easily, not a great thing. I have this point, I have this line, I wrote this equation r is equal to a plus lambda l. I got this equation in vector form. And to convert this into uh, Cartesian form, I just wrote r as xi plus yz plus zk because r is any point I know xyz on this line where xyz satisfy this line equation. And with this, I Equated these two guys to get lambdas, right? All these lambdas are equal, so I wrote this one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.